On Nikon's newer DSLRs, like the D600 and the D800 and the D4, the D7000, the D7100, they have changed the autofocus controls. The new controls consist of a button and dial configuration on the front of the camera body. Let me show you these controls on my D800 here. The dial has two positions, AF for autofocus and M for manual. Then, the button is used with the main and sub-command dials to change the autofocus mode and the autofocus area mode. When you press the button and turn the main command dial on the back of the camera, you choose your autofocus mode, either AFS for single servo autofocus, where the camera focuses once when you half press the shutter release button, or AFC for continuous servo autofocus, where the camera will continue to focus after the half press until you fully press the shutter release button to take the photo. Depending on your camera, you may also have AFA for auto servo autofocus, where the camera selects AFS or AFC for you from shot to shot. When you press the button and turn the sub command dial on the front of the camera, you choose your autofocus area mode. Here you have single point autofocus, where you select an autofocus point and the camera will focus there. You have dynamic area autofocus, where the camera will focus on your selected point plus the surrounding points when you are in continuous servo autofocus or in auto servo autofocus if you have it. You have options here. D9, where you use only 9 autofocus points, D21, where you use 21 autofocus points, and D51, where you use all 51 autofocus points. The number of autofocus points here will depend upon the camera you're using. For example, if you're using the D600, you can choose 9, 21, or 39 points. The next option is 3D tracking. Here you choose your focus point, and when you are in continuous servo autofocus or auto servo autofocus if you have it, the camera will track the subject and then choose new focus points as it moves. The last option is auto area autofocus. Here the camera detects the subject and chooses the focus point for you. Within these options, you can modify how they behave. For example, you can choose how many autofocus points you have available in single point autofocus. Check your camera's custom settings menu for details on how to customize how your autofocus behaves. I have walkthrough videos on the custom settings menus of the D800 and the D600 where I discuss these options. Even if you don't have those two cameras though, you might find the information in the autofocus section helpful, so follow these links to view the videos. And if you have any questions, let me know.